If you're a snow bunny, you might want to take a drive to Angel Fire this weekend, but don't forget your snow shovel, Elias. <laughs> That's right. The legendary Angel Fire Shovel Race Championship is this weekend at Angel Fire Resort. Christy Germscheid joins us with the details. Good morning, Christy. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. So, hey. shovel racing started as a way of lift operators to get down off the mountain at the end of their shifts. 30 years later, it's become a big deal, and racers are coming in from all corners of the country. That's right. Can you it, tell us a little bit about it? Exactly. What started off as just, uh, you know, a practical solution to coming off the mountain at night when they were done with their shifts turned into a big sporting event, and it has been picked up and covered by MTV, Nickelodeon, wow. um, ESPN, so it's so worldwide coverage on this event, and uh, and it's quirky, it's a huge adrenaline <laughs> rush, and uh, and just a great time. Well. I don't know if you guys can see this. We have um, a speedy looking shovel. What are the rules? This is it. And number 12 green shovel is kind of your standard tool uh -huh. here. The rule basically you can polish, wax, tune the backside. Um, you can't apply any permanent fixture on there. Okay. Pa you know, spray some Pam on there, whatever, to increase your speed. The front you can paint, you can decorate, but nothing that's going to make you stick. So no Velcro, no Copy adhesive that. kind of thing to help. <laughs> keep your uh, your tail in there. Oh, what are the rules? The rules are basically you sit on this with the handle pointed down. You have to wear a helmet. As you can see they're speeding down the hill. That's right. Yeah, you have to wear a helmet and other than that you just let gravity do its work. That is the only rule. Go as fast as you can. Don't modify your shovel illegally. What do you use the duct tape for? The duct tape, this is interesting. Um, some people wear speed suits and okay. really get into this sport. But if you don't have a speed suit and you're in snow pants or blue jeans, you can tape the bottoms up and the bottoms of your sleeve to keep wind from dragging you from the slower. Drive. Sure, right. sure. Yeah, so it's just a, just a little tool that we use to go faster. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are the uh, scheduled events? Schedule of events. We have registration all day today. We okay. have it tomorrow morning as well. Um, the actual competition starts at 11 a.m. We have live entertainment throughout the weekend. So um, uh, I know we're going to touch on one of our um, stars coming up to perform tomorrow night. That's right. Uh, American Idol fans may want to uh, catch up and head up to see the season nine. Uh, finalist uh, right. Casey James performed. That should be a, a really exciting show. That's great. It's a ten dollar ticket. It's seven o'clock tomorrow night, uh, and then we also have a costume contest this year for the shovel racers. What are some so, popular costumes? Well, I, you know, I haven't seen what people are coming up with, but I've heard an orangutan is one of them, um, and people get kind of creative. <laughs> Last year we had three Elvises come down. Well, shovel racing is it, is it just for adults or can kids compete no, as well? Kids can do it as well. It's a great family event. So children as young as six can. Do it! Wow! They, we call them our little scoops. And have you ever have you competed yourself? I have competed, and and I can tell you, it is really fun. It's a, a great event. It uh, makes you want to do it again and again, and go faster each time. How many inches of snow do you guys have up in Angel Fire? Right now, we're at about 106 for the year total, so it's a 46-inch base. And uh, we just got two more last night and four the night before. So inches by inches, we're getting there. We have 92% of the mountain open and it's fabulous conditions. So it's a good spectator sport, but we've got skiing, snowboarding, Nordic Center, uh, snowshoeing, um, all those things going on if wow. you don't want to do it. Well, thank you, Christy. Thank you so much for thank coming. You.